Hello, you're watching Popular Cruising and our review of the Norwegian Sky the Norwegian Cruise Line. As the ship was formerly the pride of Aloha, you'll find a number of fun Hawaiian motifs, including the whole art, that are still on board. And some of that tropical look extends right to the accommodations, such as comfortable inside staterooms, with light furnishings paired with vibrant colors. or similarly outfitted ocean view staterooms. With either a large porthole window or a picture window. While I was on board, I specifically enjoyed a balcony stateroom. With a cool porthole and door to the outside. As well as cozy sofa and plush bed. Bathrooms feature a stylish, concentric design with plenty of storage, but unfortunately far fewer space in the shower itself that made clinging to the curtain a regular occurrence. Inversely, overall space in the living area is greater with limited closet and cabinet storage, but a decent sized desk overlooking the balcony outside and its lovely, uninterrupted views of the likes of Havana, Cuba. But of course, if you want even better balcony views, you'll just have to upgrade to a suite, where you can enjoy a private whirlpool as you take in the passing sights. Activities available to everyone on board begin at the hub of the atrium where you'll find its beautiful skylight and glass-enclosed elevators. As well as a few more tropical touches. Surrounding it are the reception and shore excursion desks. With the ship's very friendly staff, and overall excellent service. Just upstairs from which is the Internet Cafe. With bright scenic windows to the outside. And an initial collection of onboard shopping. Despite being decidedly dated, the Dazzle's nightclub is still a fun gathering space for socializing or dancing the night away. No matter what you decide to do on board, images captured during your vacation are sold at the photo gallery, along a series of cool vintage Hawaiian posters that can also be perused in detail. And just across the way are the Mark Twain Library and Card and Conference Rooms. Each named for the islands of Kauai, Maui, and Oahu. That are themselves spacious and perfect for any number of meetings. And of course for even more shopping, there's plenty of other stores on board. selling everything from watches and perfume to handbags and logo items. Or if you'd like to try your hand with Lady Luck, there are many slots and table games in which to do so. Including classic blackjack. Meanwhile, for other purchases, there's the art gallery displaying pieces available for auction. And there's quite the variety in the shop. As well as in the halls. 
just for youngsters and a perfect hidden hideaway in the front of the ship is the Splash Academy Youth Center. Accommodating smaller guppies with a crawl area, as well as older kids with even more space. And great for kids of all ages is the adjacent video arcade. Including the timeless favorite of air hockey. Even more activities are just a short elevator right up to the top of the ship. Like the Entourage Teen Club for those youth that are approaching adulthood. For fun under the sun, there's always the pool deck. For relaxation, not just by one, but two pools. As well as four whirlpools, delightfully under shade. All surrounded by premium teak decking. And don't forget the wonderful Ford pool deck as well. For an even more secluded splash pool under a waterfall, and another attached roll pool. Plus, even more pampering can be had at the spa and salon. With all the hair treatments found here. And the starts of good old-fashioned R&R found here. Where you may wait quietly before the likes of a massage. Changing rooms are also well configured. The sauna and steam room. And then of course the treatment rooms themselves the wait. Those looking to stay in shape while they're on board can head to the fitness center. Complete with plenty of equipment for use. And for even more exertions, there's the sports deck and sports court. Great for basketball and volleyball. And farther down the way is the classic of shuffleboard. Wrapping around to the ship's stern and other great views. Here again of beautiful Havana. Finishing off sports on this side of the ship are a couple of golf driving nets. When it's time to cool off again, the plantation club just inside is a great lounge to do so. With its views overlooking the back of the ship, and its refreshing pineapple decor. Still the best venue on board, in my opinion, is the Outrigger Lounge. It's an excellent forward-facing observation space, far too often missing on other ships. But it's also wonderfully dressed in a traditional Hawaiian aesthetic. together making for one of the most handsome observation lounges at sea. And an ideal place to grab a drink before or after a meal. Speaking of food, one of the primary restaurants on board is the Palace Main Dining Room. Or past the ship's model is a combination of rich colors and pastels. Leading to other ocean liner and island motifs. as well as tasty dishes like refreshing smoked salmon tartare, 
on Cuban Cruises' delicious frituras de meringa, traditional pescado de Havana, and a non-Cuban but sweet souffle. Complimenting Palace is the beautiful Crossings main dining room at the stern. With its own characteristic decor. And between the two is the French specialty restaurant Le Bistro. With its welcoming booths and tables for two. And mouth watering courses like seared scallops savory cream of four mushroom soup, and a monster 32-ounce ribeye steak for two. Expertly prepared table side. Into more manageable portions. All finished off with classic desserts like creme brulee. On the watering hole side of things, there's also Captain Cook's Bar. A cool traditional maritime space. Filled with fun artifacts. There's also the coffee bar for a quick pick-me-up. Or just for a small drink break from shopping. Back in the ship's center is also the atrium bar. We're watching both the elevators and guests pass by. And up at the pool deck is the longboard bar. We're playing some electronic sports, as well as catching the big games. among a bit of memorabilia. And just next door is the Il Adagio Pizzeria and Specialty Italian Restaurant. Which is actually nice and quiet during the day. Where dining elevates at night to the likes of various fresh antipasto, premium shellfish, pesto, and all sorts of other pastas, meaty pizzas, and a wonderful steak florentine. A very friendly hello welcomes you to the Garden Cafe Buffet. and its many different food stations. Plus indoor seating. Impressively outside, there's also the whole other great outdoor cafe. With additional shaded seating in its own bar. Then servicing the pool is the Breakers Bar. For that perfect drink melting in your hand. And above it all is the Champs Bar. For great drinks and a great view. And the last remaining specialty restaurant on board is Cagney Steakhouse. A lovely Art Nouveau space at the top of the ship. Serving such fare as... Succulent Colossal Chilled Shrimp. Artful Steak Rosini. 
and an excellent dulce de leche banana tartlet. The entertainment on board the Norwegian Sky is primarily hosted in the Stardust Lounge. A main theater less commonly positioned at the ship's stern. That's still quite nice for a vessel of this size. Performances like Showdown may be less lavish, but take advantage of an exceptional cast of singers and dancers. And this one even employs the cruise director to get the audience up on its feet. Which nearly everyone seemed to actually get into. This particular production show focused on a faux vocal competition among four soloists. And featured little in the way of set design nor costume changes, but plenty of talent from the performers. On the other hand, Rocky Tonight went way further as an almost lighter version of Norwegian Breakaway's Rock of Ages. Just check out some of these highlights to see why. Thanks for watching! Please feel free to subscribe to our channel, watch our other videos, and visit popularcruising.com.